Nothing can change your life like a beautiful, healthy smile. But not everyone who needs braces can afford them. Dr. Ron Wilson and the team at Wilson Orthodontics are proud to be a part of the Smile for a Lifetime Foundation, which awards free orthodontic treatment to deserving young people right here in our community. The deadline for the current round of applications is May 1st. Just go to wilsonbraces.com and click on the Smile for a Lifetime logo. Smile for a Lifetime, a proud public service from Wilson Orthodontics. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams. May 1st is the beginning of summer, at least as far as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is concerned when it comes to measuring lake levels. Early Wednesday morning, Lake Lanier was sitting pretty at a level of 1072.30. That's more than a foot above full summer pool. According to statistics from the Corps, the last time Lanier began a summer at this level was in May 2003. Gwinnett County has joined a lawsuit against the Federal Aviation Administration to to keep control towers at smaller airports open. The tower at Briscoe Field in Lawrenceville is one of 150 set to close in June as part of sequestration budget cuts. Gwinnett has joined a lawsuit filed by the airport in Spokane, Washington. Airports in Florida and Illinois have also filed suit against the FAA. More than two dozen dogs recently traveled from the Hall County Animal Shelter to New York for a special adoption event. Veterinarian Megan Seabolt and 31 dogs traveled 19 hours to the event as part of the transport program. Seabolt says all 31 animals were adopted. She says it's the fifth time this year Hall County has participated in the out-of-state adoptions. And with the National Day of Prayer approaching on Thursday, a Christian businessmen's group is once again holding its annual prayer breakfast in Gainesville. Brad Farrow with the Fisherman says Governor Nathan Deal is scheduled to make comments at the event. So is Dr. Robert Myers, president of Toccoa Falls College. The breakfast is scheduled in the morning at the Gainesville Civic Center. Another prayer day event will be held on the downtown Gainesville Square at noon. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams.